Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Giving honor and praise to the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth. My name is Yeshai Israel of the tribe of Don of the nation of Israel. We want to go, brothers and sisters, if you will, in the scriptures. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 19. And we want to read, brothers and sisters, what is left on record in that particular aspect. And it says the following. He that goeth about as a tellbearer revealeth secrets. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Now, brothers and sisters, reading upon this right here, it says, He that goeth about as a tellbearer revealeth secrets. Right? Let's go, if we will, to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8. So we can gain some understanding of what we're talking about for edification purposes. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Brothers and sisters, Another quote, if you will. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 20. So we can gain some understanding of what we're talking about for edification purposes. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceases. Brothers and sisters, as was pointed out, when you go in the scriptures in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 19, it says, A tale bearer is he that reveals secrets. So now let's go, if you will, to Leviticus chapter 19, verse 16. And it says, Thou shalt not go up and down as a tale bearer among your people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of your neighbor. I am the most high. So, if it's telling you not to go up and down as a talebearer among your people, and Proverbs gives us the understanding that a talebearer is one that reveals secrets. Brothers and sisters, a talebearer is not a person who only quotes slanders. A talebearer can be one that also, as it states, revealing secrets. If I tell a person that I honestly and uprightly make, just throwing this out there, make $5,000 a month. And I tell that person to keep it a secret. And that person goes and tells another person, that person has just... Become a tell bearer. What was said about me wasn't a lie. What was stated about me was not a slander, but yet a tell bearer, as was read, is he who goeth about revealing secrets. So the point in going over that is because in many cases, many people feel that a tell bearer is one that hears a story and then repeats it. That's not a tail bearer. A tail bearer is, as Proverbs states, one who is told a secret and then reveals it. You understand? So this is something we want to point out for edification purposes. Brothers and sisters, let's go, if you will, to Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 8. We are in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 8, brothers and sisters. And it reads as follows. Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 8, says the following. The priest said not, where is the most high? And they that handle the law knew me not. 
The pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. So what does it state right here? The priest said not, where is Yah? And they that handled the law knew me the most high not. So just because somebody is speaking upon the law or the person that is handling the law doesn't mean that person knows the most high. This is something we want to point out for edification purposes, brothers and sisters. This is something we want to point out for edification purposes. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 19. And it says the following. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken Yah Elohecha, the Lord thy God, the Most High your King, and that ye fear, pardon me, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Most High of hosts. So what's being stated, brothers and sisters? It being your wickedness, anyone's wickedness, will be that which will correct that person. You understand? This is something that we want to sit there and point out and talk about for edification purposes. Jeremiah. Chapter 5, verse 26. And it reads as follows. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that scattereth snares. They set a trap, they catch men. So as is pointed out here in Jeremiah chapter 5. For among my people are found wicked men. And we just read about the wickedness of a man correcting that man. Now let's go in Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 4. So we can gain some understanding of what we're talking about for edification purposes. We are in Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 4 brothers and sisters. And it reads as follows. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. It says they have done violence to the law. So brothers and sisters, when you get into this particular aspect right here, and it says that the priests, the prophets, have done violence to the law. Anytime one teaches that tail bearing is the definition of slander, is not the case. Because we just read in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 19, what a tail bearer is. So this video is just something we want to point out. Brother, sisters, for edification purposes. Everyone who talks about the law of the Most High knows the Most High. Not everyone. Who talks about the law of the Most High knows the Most High, as we have already read in Jeremiah. It says, they that handled the law knew me not. So, this is why line upon line and precept upon precept, in which we want to sit there and get into in this short video right here, brothers and sisters, is for Israelites to know and understand what tail bearing is. It is not uncovering somebody's iniquities. It is not exposing somebody's wickedness. It is, brothers and sisters, when you are told a secret and you reveal that secret. Now, in Leviticus chapter 5, it speaks about the voice of adoration. That when you know something, that you are supposed to what people would call perhaps snitch. 
that you are also supposed to sit there and blow the cover off a particular subject, brothers and sisters, for the betterment of the people. As the example given earlier, if I honestly and uprightly make $5,000 a month, the person in the next county need not know that. But if I'm asked about it and then lie, and the person knows what the truth of the matter is, that person is required to, quote, blow up the spot. To expose what it is. And that's what the prophets of old were doing. So with that, I say Torah for the time. Most I bless. Shalom.